Hey guys, welcome back. It's Katarina. Hope you're having a great day so far. I'm going to share with you my brow grooming routine and also my just regular brow routine, how I fill them in, everything like that. But I'm going to take you through how I groom them with my own little shaver, tweeze them a little bit, and then go in with my brow products as well. I mentioned this many times in my videos that I wasn't somebody who always filled in my eyebrows because like you'll see in a couple of seconds when I go into the, um, when I go start into doing the routine for you guys, that's how I wore my brows. I would do my full face of makeup, but I wouldn't even do anything to my brows because they were already dark. I didn't want them to be more intense. I didn't want them to be thicker, darker, or anything like that. So I just left them. I was like, I, I have dark eyebrows. I don't need to fill them in. I realize really how much they can frame your face and frame your eyes, and they just really complete the whole look. I hope that you guys enjoy this video and find it helpful, and let's get started. I'm also going to be doing a Q&A soon. You guys can start leaving your questions here if you'd like, and then I'll probably run it for another video. I'll ask for some more questions, and then I'll do my q and If you guys have any questions, just let me know down in the comment section. Mm -hmm. today like you guys can see this one barely has a tail at all this one's um, pretty good but it has a lot of sparse areas right in here so the very first thing that I like to do when I'm first going to groom my brows is I take a spoolie and I brush all the hairs upwards and outwards just a natural way that they grow Next is when we take our little shaver. I honestly have used these for years and years and years. You can get them anywhere like Rite Aid, Wal Walgreens, um, Target, Walmart, anywhere. Um, this one's pretty much all ripped off anyways. But basically what it is, is a little shaver and it also has a little LED light at the end of it. And you just turn it up and this is how I trim down my hairs. Some people prefer to cut their hair straight across, some people prefer to get them waxed. I prefer to just do it myself because I'm really weird with my eyebrows. What I like to do, other way. What I do is I start right up here, and I push my hairs upward with the spoolie, and whatever is poking out right here, I just kind of trim off. Same thing with my tail right over here. I'll kind of flick it up, and you can see all those extra hairs. I'll trim them, that way everything's kind of the same length. Basically just getting any of them that are really long and out of order. And I'm sorry, it's going to be really hard to hear me talking through that part because having this on. That's what it looks like. So it makes it pretty much very thin, but at least now we can have more of like a straight edge that we're working with. That way it's going to be easier to define everything when we're filling in the brow. Right, so this is what we have. Again, I'm just going to kind of spoolie them out. And I also am in the process, hold on. I am also in the process of trying to kind of like fill out my brows, kind of shape them a little bit differently if that's why they're looking totally uneven. But I'm just in the process of kind of like elongating my tail over here and just kind of like shaping them how I want. So next, I go in with a tweezer, mainly to get this area right down here. I really want to pull those out, that way they're not little nubs sticking out or anything like that. I surprisingly didn't have too many little um, hairs to pull out. And I, I don't know if I already mentioned this, but I do this whole grooming technique about once a week. Um, and then it kind of varies from there. Sometimes I'll do it twice a week depending on how crisp I want my brows. I notice that the longer I let my hairs kind of regrow, the better it looks once I kind of regroom them. So I usually do this once a week. So next we're going to go into the whole filling in the brows. I use literally this one product right here to fill in my brows. Now sometimes if I make my brows a little bit too harsh, I'll go in with like a yellow toned eyeshadow powder or powder in general. Just right here to kind of lighten everything up. Just kind of play that by ear day by day just depending if I get like a really heavy hand someday. But I just kind of take an angled brush like this. 
my brow pomade. This is the Salon Perfect Brow Pomade in the shade Light Brown. Talked about this a lot recently, and ever since I got it, it is the only thing that I use on my brows. So I get a little bit on my brush. I like to start right here at my arch. Kind of shape it how I want. And then we're going to elongate this tail. And then I start to go right here to create a nice defining line right at the bottom. Like you notice, I'm using really short strokes here as well. So I'm going to leave that one alone for now. We're going to do the other one, and then I kind of like touch them up to try and make them as similar as I can. Okay, so I'm going to leave them alone for a second, go back with them with my spoolie, brush upwards once again, and then outwards. Help me see if there's any sparse lines or any sparse areas that I need to fix. As you guys can see, this eyebrow comes in a little bit closer than this one. There's more of a gap right here, which is probably my own fault. <laughs> so I'm going to kind of shape this area right up here. I'm going to take my spoolie once again and really kind of blend out this area right here. If you're seeing any um, skin particles coming off, it's because I'm peeling right here around my eyes right now, still from having a little of a sunburn. So <laughs> every time I take a spoolie, literally I feel like skin particles are coming down my face. pretty much it. I don't think my eyebrows are ever totally symmetrical, but that is okay to me. As long as I can get them somewhat similar, um, I'm okay with that. I feel like it's so quick and easy to do. It doesn't take a lot of steps. This brow product, this Salon Perfect brow product, keeps my brows in place. So I don't have to do a brow gel. I don't have to do anything other than pretty much this. And that's what I really like about it. Alright guys, so that completes this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel. That way you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Thank you so much you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. I'm going to be talking all about the LA Girl Pro HD Concealers. I mentioned a couple videos back, it was my top 5 under 5 video. Um, I mentioned these and then asked you guys if you wanted me to do a whole swatch video on them and really talk in depth about them. Because they're pretty hard to find in store. You can, you can find them online 